Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chop and we're back again with another video by good enough, the most terrifying codes to ever exist. Strange. Let's check it's it out, y'all. work our way towards the most terrifying ones on All the right. list. How Number seven, the Russian Doomsday Cult. The Russian Doomsday Cult would Russian make international cult. news in November of 2007, when around 35 of their members oh, barricaded themselves inside Most of a small cave Russians? in Russia's Penza region. And when oh. authorities went down to Wait, investigate, they're not even in the eastern parts. Come on, right? Remove them from the cave. The cult members would respond by threatening to blow themselves up. Okay, with the only thing I'm surprised by this is so far is that the police didn't blow them up first. Some of the members, even it's bringing Russia. their children on, inside of the cave, police were left with no option but to wait them out. Oh, but before I tell you how this enough. all ends, let's first tank. cover the origins like of this time. mysterious group okay, and how they, they got to that point. The cave dwellers were originally part God, of the Russian damn, Orthodox Church, but oh. they would end up leaving hey, the church Orthodox when a self-proclaimed prophet named Pyotr Kuznetsov convinced them that the world would soon be coming to an end. Pyotr would refer to his new wrong. followers as the Chosen Ones, ah. which... Made them yeah, they're definitely chosen by something. Maybe Nurgo, ugly motherfuckers. Them feel special. Pyotr would ban his followers from eating special. processed foods, watching TV, or handling money. Hmm. Okay, most cults seem to have that last part uh, in common, from what I've noticed. <laughs> they would also reject What's barcodes, national identification numbers, and passports. Huh? Since Pyotr convinced them that they all contained the mark of the beast. Oh, the but beast. after some time had gone by, his followers began to ask questions. Huh. Uh, you can't do that here. Hey, Pyotr. Yeah? You know how you've been talking a whole lot about the end of the world and all? The beast? Uh, yeah. God, well, how many teeth does that motherfucker have? Been wondering, well... When, when exactly is it? Well, um... What you mean? Mm, May. Which May? May, two, May 2008. Oh. Yeah, May, May 2008. Wait, that passed! <laughs> Which was six months away. The group was then instructed to enter a small cave what the hell and patiently is that in the wait back? for the world to Rhino? come to an end. The cult members entered the cave in November 2007. Okay. But conveniently enough, Pyotr would not be joining oh. them. Instead, he had convinced his followers that since the world was ending, they would no longer need their personal possessions. Ah. With authorities speculating that he was busy. Okay, how dumb do you have to be to believe this? Let's be like, come on, bro. He's selling off his followers' belongings. He was quickly arrested and taken into custody. Oh, good. If only he could have predicted his arrest. Okay, uh, I'll see myself out. Okay, please do. The cult members would, oddly <laughs> enough, still remain inside of the cave. Dummies. And five months would go by with no Wait. one entering or leaving. Wait, but on okay, what the fuck did they eat? Rocks? March 28th, 2008, Call seven women the finally diet. had enough, oh. exiting the cave and immediately seeking medical attention. Huh. A few days later, a portion of the cave would end up collapsing, Oof. leading more members to rage quit and exiting the <laughs> rage cave. Quit. With some members still refusing to leave, no the police would have the brilliant idea of bringing Pyotr down to the cave, where he would instruct his followers to exit. Uh -huh. But they refused. And on May 16, 2008, the last nine members of the cult nine. would finally emerge from the cave due to the toxic fumes produced by two of the members who oh. had died over the winter. With authorities... Bro, you had two dead bodies with you the whole time? How? Bro! Expecting their exit, they greeted them with a cow. What? Since they refused to drink milk that contained a barcode. As for Pyotr, what? authorities would discover that the man actually slept inside of a coffin, she further solidifying Dracula. the fact that he was completely insane, where he would end or up stupid. inside of a psych ward. <laughs> Number six. Okay, um, well, that wasn't that bad. I mean, like, only two people died and no, you know. Rick you. Probably one of the most you know, infamous and dangerous cults to have ever existed. In 1987, this cult would make themselves known to the world when a few of their members orchestrated the deadliest domestic attack in Japan's history, in Japan? leaving 13 innocent people dead oh, and over 6,000 six? in Wait, did we hear? I think I remember something about this thing we did a video on this. But before we get to that heinous attack, let's first cover how this cult began. The year is 1987. A man named Chizuo Matsumoto began to okay. distribute pamphlets, claiming 
mean I think to have we did, reached but a with these images I'm not too sure. New level of enlightenment <laughs> through meditation. Yeah, I think we the did. pamphlet advertised a yoga it's class. A where you game, come right? and learn about his Kinda amazing ish. discovery. But during these classes he would spend Health his well, time preaching the about medicine. the end of the world. And that should have probably been your cue yeah. to updog your Leaf. way out the class. Updog. God damn, I'd updog her. What's that? Titties. Nothing much, man. What's up with you? I don't get it. Dumbass. Little dumbass. And over Brett the Robin course Hood. of a few years, he managed to garner dozens of loyal <laughs> followers, naming the group Om Shinrikyu, which um? roughly translates to the Supreme Truth. And uh, in 1992, um, Chizuo Matsumoto truth. would gain even more followers when he released the book titled Declaring Myself the Christ, which had a picture of him on the cross as the cover. You can't just fucking do that shit. At its peak, the cult would grow you to over tens of thousands of members that spanned over multiple he's countries. Still alive. His followers would even state that if people shit would just take a moment to listen to their enlightened leader, they too God would see damn. the light. But without warning, on the morning of March 20th, 1995, tragedy would strike. When a total of five chemical yeah, weapon attacks took this. place in the Tokyo subway system, killing 13 innocent people and injuring around 6,000 others. That's a the lot attacks people. would quickly backfire as the authorities began to arrest everyone involved, including the cult leader. These attacks were meant to initiate the apocalypse. And once the world had collapsed, the yeah, you need to injure and kill a lot more people to initiate the apocalypse, brother. The cult would rise to rule the world in the way that they saw fit. But instead, the attacks led the leader and six high-ranking members directly to death row, where they were Good. held until their execution date, which came on July 6, 2018. They hang these goods? Number five. Wait, wait, wait. Heaven's Is that Gate. how they do uh, executions in uh, Japan? They hang people? God, Heaven's that's Gate a... was an American Heaven's religion Gate. movement. Oh, that this is the communal and the living of people, right? Gang I remember this one. following in Southern California during the mid 1970s. The group has been characterized as a UFO religion cult, whatever the hell that means. What? The followers of this cult believe that they could transform themselves into immortal extraterrestrial beings once they rejected Ow. their human nature, something that they would refer to as reaching the next level, which I guess of they stability? ultimately did. But yeah, more on I mean. that later. The group was started huh. by Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Nettles, Ugh. who after confiding in each Fuck other, would come things. to the conclusion that they were the two witnesses described in the Book of Revelation, ah. which would make them prophets. Fully so they read a book at one point, the first book these dumbass motherfuckers read, they were like, we're the chosen ones. No one else has read this Convinced, shit. they would attend church groups where they would present themselves <laughs> God, as the two. And I can only assume how funny that must have been. Yeah, I must have. Look, broke bro, if you're a normal individual in these two, we are the chosen one. Some screeching ugly doofus with little shit stains on his bread fucking, and gave it bro. to them saying, um, this is my body. Excuse me? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but I just want to let you guys know so that. Creepy. Well, we are the two. The two? What does that mean? Like the two um i'm not following you know like what two the two from the book of revelations right get a load of this guy <laughs> What the fuck is that but thing? somehow the two would be I saw Satan begin to garner a following when they began How to hand out happen? flyers advertising Whoa. their seminars like this one claiming to be from the okay. nukers advertising is this an their actual seminars picture? like this and their final bro oh my god is okay, so. this one claiming to be from the next level leaving their higher being <laughs> self to come down to earth to help others <laughs> next and level, somehow they bro, managed to recruit me. around 39 loyal followers how, now one of the how do you find 39 stupid motherfuckers? okay never mind i'm pretty sure i can leave my house now and find strangest and most terrifying thing about, about this cult was the anything. fact that all male members were required to be castrated what Okay, Which, I can find a lot of stupid motherfuckers. I don't know if I can convince somebody to, for me to castrate him, for him to become next level. Bro, you're losing like five levels there. Next level is like still we can minus all agree four. A wild or three, thing I don't just know, out. Yeah, that's the group would first try to do the procedure in house, almost killing one of their members. 
<laughs> so all future castrations would take place at the local hospital. Wait, the how did they come left in complete shock castle. when one of the two founding leaders, Bonnie Nettles, would suddenly pass away? Oh, this shit. would cause the entire cult chosen, belief you, system bitch? to collapse. Since they originally preached that all members <laughs> yeah, were to ascend alive inside of a UFO. Oh, alive. So Applewhite made a few adjustments to their beliefs ah. and would come to the conclusion that only the oh, person's soul dinosaur. would be taken Aww. by the spaceship. 12 years would go by Holy and the members of Heaven's Gate grew tired of waiting. And on March 26, 1997, the San Diego's County Sheriff's Department would discover a horrifying scene. Inside of a rented mansion laid 39 lifeless bodies, including the cult's leader, bringing Applewhite's revelations to fruition. Jeez. And in his own words, the members of Heaven's Gate had finally graduated. Yeah, number five. four. I think that's the what they call a Darwin dividends. Award, right? This is one of the most insane cults to have ever existed. Bro, how are we still like? 39 people unalive themselves when we were at, par, at, uh, at four. The Branch Davidians were an apocalyptic Branch Christian Davidians. cult founded in Texas in 1935 God by a man it, named Victor Houtev. And in 1957, the cult. Okay. How do you trust somebody named Victor in Texas? Like Victor in Texas, purchased nah, 941 brother. acres of land Damn. near Elk, Only Texas, money, huh? where they would build a large community that would serve as their home and headquarters. But things cool. wouldn't really start to heat up until 1987, when a man named David Koresh would take over as the cult's leader, and he was, of course, you guessed it. A self-proclaimed prophet. Ah, another one. According to David, he was appointed by God as a prophet with oh. the task of bringing the day of judgment. But David's downfall would start when he began to illegally collect and stockpile dozens of guns and Wait, thousands of rounds of illegal? ammunition since he was preparing for the upcoming apocalypse. <laughs> and on February 28th, 1993, federal agents would arrive at the cult's oh, doorsteps with a search and arrest warrant in hand. Damn. But the Davidians cult members had no intentions of allowing them inside or arresting Ooh. their leader. And within moments, gunshots began fire. to go off. In That's the gunfire, four federal agents and six Davidians would end up losing their lives. Oh, that's not a cool. That is not a good KDA, brother. But this was just the beginning. Damn. The cult members would go on to barricade bomb themselves bomb. inside of their compound for 51 days. 51 but eventually, days. the FBI was given the green light to enter, firing multiple tear gas canisters inside. And shortly after, after the entire building would erupt in flames <laughs> and to this day no one really knows who started the fire but after it was lit the standoff would end within the hour with 76 well, divisions and their leader perishing in the fire the standoff would end within the hour with 76 divisions and their leader perishing oh, in the fire really? or by smoke inhalation and for the high ranking cult members who managed to escape with their they lives they would end up inside of a cell number 3 damn I would, I'm surprised they didn't just bomb them. Order of the Solar Temple. The this solar? apocalyptic okay, this cult would make cool national you. headlines on October 4th, 1994, when two fires would break oh, out in Switzerland, Switzerland huh. one at a farm and the other in a chalet. When the paramedics arrived at I'm the scene, they one. would discover a total of 48 burned bodies across both locations. Yo. They had all been wearing white cloaks, but strangely enough, some of them also had a plastic bag over their heads. They were all laid out flat on the ground and in a he circle. Ate. One of the sites was even surrounded by mirrors and the cult symbols. On arrival, sure? officers would also discover that the fires had been ignited with the remote control device. And since this was the early huh. 1990s, brain. they were clearly showing off. Yeah. But these fires wouldn't be an isolated incident. In fact, this was just the beginning. One year later, on December 15th, 1995, in France, 16 burned in bodies France would now. be discovered, laying in the formation of a star. The then two years later, on March star? 22nd, 1997, five more members would be discovered in Canada. They were yet again set ablaze now, by Canada? a remote-controlled device. Now, here's the terrifying part. Remember okay. those... You know what this tells me? French. Plastic bags... Well, apparently multiple cult members refused to drink the poison on the night of the sacrifice, oh, where they were then held down against their will and oh. had plastic bags placed over their oh. heads. This was not a choice. Then the fire? Everyone had to participate. The reason why these cult members took part in these rituals was because they believed that the end of the world was near. And okay. by leaving Earth, motherfuckers, like, yeah, it's near, not that near. Their God souls would ascend to Not another tomorrow. planet, inevitably escaping the apocalypse. 
Number I mean, two, movement job, for the restoration of the Ten Commandments. I don't want to die in like 10 years, so I just might as well die now, right? Big brain thinking. Ooh, IQ out of, of 1,000 IQ. Could they not have thought of a shorter name? <laughs> now, this will probably be one of the most tragic endings oh, to a shit. cult that you will ever hear. But before I tell you how this all ends, let's first cover the cult's rise and beliefs. Okay. This was a religious Okay, why do we not give any info about the Order of the Sword of the Temple? We just get the deaths and shit. That took place in Uganda from 1989 Uganda? through the early okay. 2000s. But they the group would claim to be a religious Confusion? movement, garnering around 5,000 members at its peak. However, the rest of the Ooh. world would categorize this group as a doomsday cult. Ah. The cult's beliefs were very simple. Members were strictly to follow the Ten Commandments. They Wait. thought that by doing so... I mean, the ten commands are not bad right don't fuck your homie's wife don't kill and all that shit right it's pretty cool oh they would escape the coming apocalypse they actually feared breaking the commandments so much that a lot of the members outright refused to speak oh yeah don't tell a lie communicate using sign language was one right oh they're naruto Shadow clone adapting the classic winning strategy of you can't lose if you don't play, mm. which is a strategy that, that I have been using for years, making my friends absolutely jealous. You since they friends? say stuff to me like, you literally don't even leave the house. You don't do anything anymore. <sighs> and what happened to you? But don't worry, friend, those cool are just words. It's sure. so much better to know that you remain undefeated. The leaders of the cult would even claim to be able to directly talk to God oh. and being told when wait, the world wait, would wait. come what about lies, come to an end, placing the cocaine date on December 31st, 1999. Yeah, as soon as this date was God. announced, the cult members erupted in a frenzy, selling their The world looks like a diaper on the right. Look at this. He looks like a diaper, a full one. Cult members erupted in a one. frenzy, selling their livestock and all of their oh, belongings God. for very cheap. The leaders would then instruct their members to give all of the money to the movement, which they gladly did. But eventually, the did. date of Doomsday arrived, and surprise, nothing no happened. Oh, shit. Causing the now leaders what? to push the date back to March 17th. Oh, to oh, oh, unexpected. Um, God was working a little too hard and... New programmers couldn't do with the whole God thing, so we gotta push the thing. With what the is followers this? enraged is this and beginning to ask for their money back, Just the leaders back. could not afford to be wrong this time around. So on March 17th, 2000, all 530 members were instructed to attend a party oh, inside was of a boarded up oh, church. God. But just moments after the last person arrived, the party would quickly come to an end. They with the only down. entrance oh, to the church God. being shut, the building quickly erupted in flames. With no way out, all five 530 members would be trapped inside hey, and slowly burned alive. Police would later discover that two of the five oh, cult leaders gosh. never attended the party. And just four days after the church fire, police would investigate all of the cult's properties, discovering an additional 395 bodies. Bro? The bodies of members that had been poisoned just days before the party raising the total body count to over oh 900. My God, God, the two cult leaders that are believed oh, to have Ricky, orchestrated these this? attacks managed to escape Ricky. the country before Damn being captured. Shit. And to this day, this. they remain free. What? Ow. Ow. Number one, the People's Temple. This the cult people? would become okay. one of the- Yeah, how the hell is that number one? So many people died and these dudes escaped. Most talked about tragedies in all of American history. With countless of documentaries made on the okay. subject and word of a new movie currently in the works, it really goes to show just how much of an impact this cult has had on society. Okay, it would all begin in 1954 in Indianapolis, 54. Indiana, when a communist man named Jim Jones opened a up his own church, attracting people by offering healing services, claiming to heal all sorts of diseases. In the coming years, Jones would garnered thousands of loyal followers secretly using religion to further his political okay. ideology after a did he actually heal the people because if he don't like oh i got like my pinky hurts Ooh, my pink still hurts motherfucker like Come While on. Jones would begin to get criticized for his views, leading mm. him to move to California in 1965. Oh. And by the <laughs> oh, early 1970s, boy, yeah. he had established the temple's headquarters in San Francisco. San Francisco. Old members Francisco. would be tasked with recruiting, leading to massive growth. Mm. And eventually, they would reach thousands of members. Damn. Hey. Yeah? What's up? Do Comic you God. like Jesus? What? Jesus? Like our Lord and Savior Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bro, I... first time, if these two came to your door, shut the door down, lock it 15 times, run away from the back window, de leave the house. This house is no, your, no longer your house. Yeah, I it guess. It is those things' house. He's cool. You cool. run. Want to like him with us? I'm um, okay, man. Yeah, fuck Thanks. No. Why? Because you're I'm weird, okay, ugly. Appreciate you have the offer, three though. hairs on your head. That's not normal. Why? Uh, just, just keep it moving, man. Why? Why? Brother, try someone else. Why? All right, man, you're ridiculous. Just give me the flyer. Ooh. Why? Ooh. <laughs> okay, I, I can't do Ooh. this. But the next step would come in Why 1974, like when Jones would acquire close to 4,000 acres of remote land in Guyana in South America. Okay, I think we've seen this happen before. Now they build a house. Place he would call Jonestown, oh, slowly sending I've over members about this. as they would begin to build homes and inhabit the land. I've not heard much land. about it, but he convinced his followers to move by selling them the vision of paradise, a mm. place where they can live freely without I mean, the South America's cute though. government getting involved. It could be paradise. For Jones, creating a socialist society had always oh. been his goal, and it would. Yeah, I mean, listen, as a person that lived in Bulgaria, that used to be communist back in the day. I mean, it wasn't communist when I was born, but from what I've heard, yeah, no. Was no. finally taking Evans, shape. Pretty far away, By right? 1977, close around 900 members closer. lived on the compound. And this would also be the same year that Jones would permanently join them. But the moment he arrived, things quickly changed. Oh. Everyone was expected to work eight hour days, followed by classes at night, where they would learn about socialism. <laughs> Jones had effectively <laughs> begun to brainwash his followers, oh. even taking on the name Father. Father. But everything would change Not on Daddy? November 17th, 1978, when a politician named Leo Ryan and his team arrived at Jonestown to investigate claims of abuse. Ooh. After the investigation was complete, I mean, Ryan would be ambushed at the airstrip, where he and three others would be fatally gunned Ooh. down. Jones, knowing that the end was near, had a yeah. few helpers prepare a giant tub of grape-flavored drink adding to it a concoction of drugs and cyanide. Oh. He would then instruct all of his followers to drink a cup. Not Ooh. knowing what was in it, his followers blindly followed his instructions. And with that cup, they had all but sealed their fate. More than 900 people, including Jones, Damn. would end up dying shortly after. This Yeah, that is the common way. Instead of fighting back, you just lie down and... Drink the poison, piece of shit, cowardly fuck. Incident would create the famous saying, Damn. don't drink the Kool-Aid, meaning to not blindly follow a leader or ideology without saying. questioning or critical thinking. Yes. Or you just critical might end up important. like the people at Jonestown. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think number two was way worse. The Ten Commandments of God, that was way worse, bro. They killed like just about as many people, but they were learning away. But cut those. This is motherfucking day, you know? Holy shit. Anyway, let me know if y'all heard any about this. And uh, what did you hear? What did you think? Are you scarred for life now? And uh, yeah. Bye, everybody.